We're going to do this. Um, you know, it's been hot here. It's been way, way hot. And, uh, uh, you know, we could go to a weather service. We can get the weather from Kelly. But, I mean, who better to go to than Officer George Quarterman? How does he beat the heat? So maybe we can have this a regular feature. Breakfast and weather with George. Nice. George Quarterman, head of security up at the guard shack. Yeah. We're going to call him and find out, first of all, what his what's for breakfast. And then we'll find get his weather report. Because he just gets in about 8.45 or so. He's only been here for about half an hour. Security, Kel Wales Radio Court. <laughs> George? Yes, how are you? Mark and Brian, what's up? Oh, nothing uh, much. Georgie, uh, before we get into the reason we're calling, why don't you go ahead and let us know what's on tap for breakfast today? Um, salmon croquet. Salmon, salmon croquet? Mm-hmm. That's for breakfast? Yes, it is. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. Yeah, salmon patties, yes. Any sides on that? Uh, just some french fries. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. And then lunch, what are you bellying up to? I've got a uh, hamburger I'm going to grill here. You're, you're grilling like in the stove in the kitchen. In the kitchen, yes. So it's raw meat Let right that now. Bad boy, on yes. <laughs> See, <laughs> did you make a patty and just wrap it in plastic or something? Uh, yes, I, I do a few patties. I just take them out and and I'll do it at, uh, this afternoon. Put it on probably about uh, twelve. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for the exact time on the patty cooking. Put it on twelve. Now, what a, what a, are you making a patty for somebody else or just you? No, just me. Uh-huh. And did did you bring a bun and condiments or, or? Uh, yes, bun and we've got uh, tomatoes and also uh, lettuce and what you, and cheese. Oh, and cheese, very nice. And, and what are you eating along with the burger? Got a couple of fries with that. <laughs> couple of fries. So it's a fry day. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, now you just got in about a half an hour ago, right, George? Uh, yes, I did. As you know, the weather's just been stifling hot and really humid. It just feels like we're, we're hoping we can get a weather report from you. Today's weather with Officer George Quarterman, Q Dog. <laughs> Uh, well, what do you want me to say? It's going to be uh, it's going to be in the high eighties today. Wind's going to be out of the northwest. Wow, probably about five miles an hour. <laughs> well, what was it like coming in this morning? Uh, it was uh, pretty warm this morning coming out of uh, Rialto. Yes, I think we started out inside the house. Now it's about eighty three. Now, George, uh, <laughs> when the temperatures are up around a hundred, which it's been some days, uh, how do, how do you think people could beat the heat? A lot of water. A lot, a lot of water, yeah, you think? Of, uh, it's easy to get di- dehydrated, isn't it? Uh, exactly, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. yeah, you got to have the water. Or those uh, those drinks, uh, yeah, I guess those, uh, uh, what is that stuff they use? Gatorade stuff. Gatorade and that kind of drink, yes. yeah. Keep that down. Keep uh-huh. keep satiated. Right, yes. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. And lemonade, too. Lemonade's good. Uh-huh. Hey, did you ever have an Arnold Palmer, half lemonade, half iced tea? I have. I, I like it. You know who invented that? Who did it? Arnold Palmer. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> All right, well, George, listen, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, we'll take that with us as we... Tr- uh, on a serious note, uh, those of you that have... Uh animals that live outside, dogs. My dogs live outside all the time. We went and bought... Um, one of these plastic kiddie pools and we fill it just so the dogs can go lay in it on these kind of hot day because the it's so hot for these animals just keep that in mind make sure you change their water a lot very important uh, and and if you could get them a little baby pool and, and keep water in that they can lay in it and cool off so unlucky that your family members are allergic to dogs yes because they can't come in the house that's right because you know just you know a, a good cool nice chilled toilet bowl full of water and hazel's there her day's made yeah, you know, labs, they they shed so much. And the first thing Joe does when she gets wet is goes and wallers in the dirt, in the mud. I don't want them in the house. You said wallers. Yeah, I, I don't want all that. I'd rather them be outside. We go out constantly, and we're with them all the time. But, yeah, I don't want that crap in the house.